Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome back to another video. So what we are going to do today is we are going to discuss the Pelican brand cases versus the Harbor Freight Apache brand cases. We're going to discuss the differences and is the Pelican really worth the added cost over the Apache. So let's stop talking and let's get right into it. And welcome back. So what we've got here today is we have got two ruggedized hard cases, one of which is the Pelican. This is the Pelican IM2050, and the other is an Apache. This is the Apache 2800. Now, the big difference here is Apache is purchased at Harbor Freight. This is a brand that Harbor Freight carries. Pelican you can buy in any number of retailers as well as their online store to include Amazon. So let's discuss the differences. Now, your first thing you're going to say is, okay, the 2050 is not the same size as the 2800. I had the 2050 already. I was actually given this case as a gift, and so I had it. The, if you wanted to compare the Apache 2800 to the comparable Pelican size version, the Pelican would be the IM2100. That's the same size as the Apache case. But the 2050 is a comparable pelican brand case and many of the things are much the same so we will just use this as our medium to discuss the differences between the two so first off let's get the elephant out of the room cost if you were to buy the pelican case in the im 2100 you're going to pay upwards of about 110 dollars and that's not including taxes or shipping or anything like that that you may be imposed upon if you buy the apache 2800 I just bought this today. It cost me $32.24. That is a huge cost difference. That is $80 difference in cost just in the base prices. So why is there such a difference between the Pelican brand and the Apache brand? Well, let's talk about that and let's discuss what the differences really are. Okay, so what's, what are you getting? What's the difference? What are you getting for your added $80 if you buy the Pelican product? <clears throat> the first thing that you're going to notice right off the bat with the Pelican case is the latches are very, very different. The Pelican case has actually got what they call a push and lift system, whereas you have to push the button in the middle and then you can lift the latch to open the latches up so you can access the confines of the case. Whereas the Apache case doesn't have that push button. It's just simply a lift latch system and you can access whatever is in the case. Is that added security worth it? It depends on what your point of view, I guess. For me, it's not. I don't need that extra step, that extra push button to open these latches. It's not like it takes any extra time because ergonomically, Pelican did a very, very good job of making that button thumb pushable so that you can lift it with one hand and it's really not a hindrance at all but it's also a little extra i don't really think that it's necessary especially when you take into consideration that both cases do have holes drilled for padlocks for say you're shipping this on an aircraft or something like that they do have auxiliary locking mechanisms on both the Apache and the Pelican brand case. So the latches are very, very different, but I certainly don't think that it's worth the added value and the cost. The other thing I noticed right off the bat is with the Pelican case and the Apache case, Apache's actually got metal reinforcements around the padlock holes, whereas Pelican does not. Pelican is just the plastic of the case itself. Apache actually took the time to put a little extra added reinforcement here in the form of steel la or steel clips to help secure better the locking mechanisms and provide some longevity and some some lasting to those locks or those locking holes so that's actually something where i think apache actually did a little one up on pelican as far as the the locking holes when you push on the cases it feels like the pelican case has probably got just a little bit thicker plastic it's a little difficult to tell because this case is so much smaller than the 2800 but if I push on them, I can physically feel that the, the covers do give a little. And I think the Pelican has got just slightly thicker plastic on the covers and on the overall construction. But this is still a hardened, hardened, ruggedized case 
this plastic they leave here is not just for decoration. There's actually providing some structural integrity by leaving the plastic a little heavier in locations. Yes, it looks very nice as well, but that's also actually very, very functional. Whereas on the Pelican, they don't leave that, but they really don't need to because they do have a little thicker plastic on the construction of the case itself. So now let's look at the confines in the interior. Now, like I said, I've had this case for a while. Uh, so forgive me of the fact that it has been used, but it'll still get the point across. So you both cases have got foam in the, in the lid itself. Uh, looks like the foam on the Apache sticks down plenty far enough. In fact, it's dimpled the, it's dimpled the uh, foam on the bottom, so I know it's contacting the foam on the bottom, and it's making very good contact. And I know the Pelican does the same because I've been using this case for a number of years. The uh, Apache, the foam, the dimples on the foam are a little closer together. They're a little more tightly knit. Uh, on the Pelican, they're a little more spaced out, but they're, they're pretty close. It's hardly worth even mentioning. Where you will notice a big difference is in the spacing of the individual cubes and blocks from the Pelican case to the Apache. The Apache's blocks are slightly larger than the pelican blocks are so if i was to take and bend this you can see right there that the apache blocks are just slightly bigger so you're not going to get as refined of a fit with the apache case as you will with the pelican but there again it's not that big of a barn burner for me if i take a tape measure and i measure the blocks on the apache they are just a shade over a half an inch like nine sixteenths of an inch each individual block whereas if I look at the pelican case they're right on a half an inch so the Apache blocks are actually one sixteenth of an inch larger than the pelican blocks as far as the uh, the the uh, customizable foam is concerned but again we're talking about a sixteenth of an inch and I think the Apache will be more than adequate the other thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is that the handle is slightly different the uh, the pelican handle is actually much nicer it seems to be a little more robust it seems to be a little beefier it's rubberized whereas the apache case is kind of half rubberized uh, but again i think the patchy apache's got a fine handle on it. it it's slightly different in design and it's slightly lighter in design i honestly don't think that that's going to be a hindrance but only time will tell the other thing that you're going to notice that is very, very different is the relief valve on it. Now, the Pelican relief valve, which is located right here, is actually automatic. So if you were to put this in an aircraft and fly from point A to point B in an aircraft, this pressure relief valve is automatic, and it's going to relieve and allow pressure to change and vary as the altitude changes in the aircraft or as your altitude changes if you're going hiking or something like that. It's going to be automatic, whereas with the Apache, you have to physically open it. it. It is not an automatic valve. You just, if you were going to put this on an airplane, you would open up that valve and allow the pressure to change as it needs to, but it is not an automatic valve. For me, that makes no difference whatsoever. The amount of times that I would put these things on an airplane is so far and few and infrequently between, it really isn't going to matter to me. And if it really does become a a point where it does matter then I'll go buy a pelican case to accommodate the hinges on the pelican as opposed to the Apache are different but they're both very robust I don't see as either one of them being a problem and I certainly don't see that this is any better or worse than the hinge that I see on the Apache case uh, so other than those few differences I really don't see a whole lot of differences between the pelican and the Apache case except in price that is where it really boils down to. If you were to buy this case in a Pelican version, you're going to pay far more money for it. And let's face it, in reality, do most of us need to spend that extra $80, especially with $5 gas and $6 diesel and the way things are going up in inflation at this point in time? Do we really need to be spending extra money to get a name brand case like Pelican? Now, I'm not picking on Pelican. Pelican is, makes a great case, and I've been using Pelican products for years through the military. A lot of our cases and transportation stuff that we use are Pelican brand, and we use Pelican for a reason. It's very good, high-quality stuff. It really is very good, high-quality stuff. But for the average, everyday consumer, I think the Apache would do you just fine. There is really no point, in my opinion, 
purchasing this same case from this company and spending an extra $80. I just don't see the value there. And that's what it really boils down to is, is the value there. So if you are in the market for a case, a ruggedized hard case, I would highly recommend that you should consider the Apache from, from Harbor Freight. I see no reason not to try it out. Now, how big is this case? It is 12 inches by nine inches, which basically means that you can get two medium-sized handguns in this case and have a little bit of room to spare for extra magazines or whatever you may. So I've got my Taurus TX-22 and I've got my FN S9C, which is my compact pistol that I use for everyday carry, and they both fit in this case just fine without any issue. I actually bought this case to carry a GoPro set. I've got a GoPro set that I had to purchase for work, and I needed a really good case that I could carry around and I could fly around with, and I could actually have in the truck with me to protect the camera, and that's really what this case is going to be used for, but as far as size is considered, you can very easily put two compact or medium-sized pistols in this case without problem or you could put one larger pistol in here without an issue so here you see i have my heritage six inch rough rider in the case and there is actually plenty enough room to get two of these pistols in the case so that'll give you an idea of how large this case is and what you can expect to put in this case so let's talk a little bit about initial quality and, and visual observations of these two cases. Uh, when I bought this or when I got this Pelican case, I noticed right, right away that the quality, the fit and finish, everything about the case was exactly what you would expect from a $70 case, when, which is what this case would have cost. If you buy the 2100 it's like I said, it's upwards of $107, $110. Uh, when I picked this case up at Harbor Freight today, again, I saw no issues with the fit and finish and the quality. And I looked at several cases and none of them were any different. I couldn't find any flaws in any of the cases sitting on the shelf with the exception of the display model that they had. And when you opened up the cover, you could see that people were poking the, uh, the customizable foam in there and they had actually broken away a few of the, of the square pieces. But other than that, the fit and the finish and the quality of the cases was just fine. Both the Apache and the Pelican case have got a weatherproof seal that goes all the way around the inside of the lid. The Apache has much the same. Uh, in the four years that I've owned this Pelican case, I have not had any issues with the seal leaking, but then again, I haven't tried submersing or anything like that. It's, this case has been used very gently in regards to what it was actually designed to be used for. Uh, the Apache case has got a very similar seal in the lid of it as well. So they both have weatherproof seals in them. Uh, I, so they're very comparable as far as what the cases were designed to do. Overall quality fit and finish of both cases, I don't see any problems with them. The obvious big difference is the price. That is the huge big difference and that is the elephant in the room. And for me, I just could not justify going to the store and purchasing the Pelican version of the Apache case for well over $100. It just, there, the value was not there for me. So at the end of the day, which case am I going to buy? I'm going to buy the Apache any day of the week and twice on Tuesday. Why? Pure value. That's really what this is going to boil down to. The Apache is going to do exactly what I need it to do. It's going to function in exactly the manner I expect it to function. And to pay the extra money for the Pelican version of the case, I just don't see the value there. So that all being said, I hope this video was useful for you. I hope you got some value out of it. I hope it gave you a little bit of an explanation on what I think the differences are between these two cases and why I would go with one versus the other. With that, if you're liking this kind of content and you're liking this channel, please do me the favor and the honor of hitting that like and subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. And please hit me with some comments. I love the comments and I answer as many as I possibly can. As always, this is Ed with Jack of All Trades. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for riding along and we will see you on the next video.